American Car and Foundry often abbreviated as ACF is an American manufacturer of railroad rolling stock. One of its subsidiaries was once 1925 a manufacturer of motor coaches and trolley coaches under the brand names of first ACF and later ACF Brill. Today, ACF is known as ACF Industries LLC and is based in St. Charles, Missouri. It is owned by investor Carl Icahn. Topic History American Car and Foundry was formed and incorporated in New Jersey in 1899 as the result of the merger of 13 smaller railroad car manufacturers. The company was made up of, later in 1899 ACF acquired Bloomsburg Car Manufacturing Company of Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. Two years later, ACF acquired Jackson and Sharp Company founded 1863 in Wilmington, Delaware, and the Common Sense Bolster Company of Chicago, Illinois. The Unified Company made a great investment in the former Jackson and Wooden plant in Pennsylvania, spending about $3 million. It was at this plant that ACF built the first all-steel passenger car in the world in 1904. The car was built for the Interboro Rapid Transit System of New York City, the first of 300 such cars ordered by that system. 1904 and 1905 saw ACF build several motor cars and trailers for the London Underground. In those two years, ACF also acquired Southern Car and Foundry, founded 1899 in Memphis, Tennessee, Indianapolis Car and Foundry and Indianapolis Car Company. During World War I ACF produced artillery gun mounts and ammunition, submarine chasers and other boats, railway cars, and other equipment to support the Allies. ACF ranked 36th among United States corporations in the value of World War II production contracts. Topic timeline 1899 American Car and Foundry is formed from the merger of 13 smaller companies. 1899 ACF acquires Bloomsburg Car Manufacturing Company. 1901 ACF acquires Jackson and Sharp Company and Common Sense Bolster Company. 1904 ACF builds the first all steel passenger car in the world for the Interboro. Rapid Transit 1904, ACF acquires Southern Car and Foundry 1905, ACF acquires Indianapolis Car and Foundry and Indianapolis Car Company 1922, ACF diversifies into the automotive industry with the acquisition of Carter Carburetor Corporation March 31, 1924, ACF acquires Pacific Car and Foundry 19 1925, ACF acquires Fagel Motors Company of Ohio and Hall Scott Motor Car Company 1926, ACF acquires J.G. Brill Company 1927, ACF acquires Shippers Car Line 1935, ACF builds lightweight Rebel Streamline trains for the Gulf, Mobile and Northern Railroad 1939, ACF's Berwick Plant Switches to construction of military tanks. August 2, 1941, ACF's 1,000th military tank is completed for the United States military effort of World War II. 1954, the company officially changes its name to ACF Industries, Inc. 1954, ACF purchases Engineering and Research Corporation. 1954 1955, ACF delivers 35 
Astra Dome, Dome cars to the Union Pacific Railroad January 1961, ACF delivers its last passenger car, NYCTIRTR 28 IRT car, Berwick plant closed, sold, to later reopen as Berwick Forge and Fabricating Corporation, 1977, Southern Pacific Railroad SP came up with the idea of the first double-stack intermodal car in 1977. SP then designed the first car with ACF Industries that same year. 1984, ACF is purchased by Carl Icahn 1997, ACF reaches leasing agreement with GE Capital Railcar for 35,000 of its 46,000 railcars, mostly on 16-year leases with optional purchase agreements. 2003, ACF Industries LLC became a successor to ACF Industries, incorporated on May 1, 2003. Topic: <laughs> Products. In the past, ACF built passenger and freight cars, including covered hopper cars for hauling such cargo as corn and other grains. One of the largest customers was the Union Pacific Railroad, whose armor yellow carbon steel lightweight passenger rolling stock was mostly built by ACF. The famous dome observation car Native Sun was an ACF product. Another important ACF railroad production were the passenger cars of the Missouri River. Eagle, a Missouri Pacific streamliner put on service on March 1940. This train, in its original shape, consisted of six cars including one baggage, one baggage mail, two coaches one food and beverage car and finally the observation lounge parlor car. All the passenger equipment was styled by industrial designer Raymond Lowy. Today the U.S. passenger car market is erratic in production and is mostly handled by specialty manufacturers and foreign corporations. Competitors Bud, Pullman Standard, Roar Industries, and the St. Louis Car Company have all either left the market or gone out of business. The manufacturing facility in Milton, Pennsylvania, is served by the Norfolk Southern Railway and is capable of manufacturing railcars and all related railcar components. The plant is capable of producing pressure vessels in sizes 18,000 to 61,000 GWC, including propane tanks, compressed gas storage, LPG storage, and all related components, including heads. The plant, covering 48 acres, provides 500,000 square feet of covered work area and 7 miles of storage tracks. The Huntington, West Virginia, production site ceased production in late 2009. The site continues only as a repair facility. See also American Car Company Canadian Car and Foundry Jan Rogers Niffen, former company treasurer List of rolling stock manufacturers <laughs>